Well, hello everyone. Uh, it is an absolute pleasure and delight to be here at the Electric and Hybrid Aerospace Technology event. Um, my name is Jeff Zaltman. I'm the founder of Air Race E. Now, I'm going to be telling you about what we do at Air Race E, which in a nutshell is the first and only all electric air race. What we're trying to do with Air Race E is actually take air racing and aerospace into the future by converting it to electric propulsion. So we're really trying to create a test bed, um, you know, a, a platform for the acceleration of the development of the technology of electrification. Um, in a sense, we're doing very much what Formula E is doing in automotive, but we're doing that for aerospace. And, and we're all doing it for generally e-mobility and e-transportation. At the end of the day, we also are creating an absolutely thrilling uh, motorsport event. So on that note, I'm gonna give you a quick video, quick snapshot of what we do so that you can get a, a feel for, for our format of motorsport. So close, this battle between the two of them, just meters between the two planes. Are you ready to experience the evolution of air racing? Welcome to the world's first all-electric air race, Air Race E. Prepare yourself to witness the exciting future of aviation and motorsport right now. Air Race E is a pioneer leading the charge in the electrification of aerospace. It is the only electric air race series with manned aircraft pushed to their limits in a real-world mission to win. Pure motorsport in three dimensions. Aviation is going green, and Air Race E is at the center of the revolution, creating a platform for the industry to move forward and accelerate the technology that will help save our planet. New concepts in electric propulsion and hands-on partnerships with aerospace and automotive leaders allows Air Race E to reshape the e-mobility and transport industry. The spectacular and action-packed competition will see top pilots commanding leading-edge technology racing head-to-head -head at speeds of up to 400 kilometers per hour around a tight circuit just meters above the ground. The true motorsport for the future by the world's leading air racing organization. Are you ready to meet the future? It's a dynamic sport and there's nothing like it in the world. So hopefully uh, that gave a really good feel for the excitement and the energy and the adrenaline of what we do. This is really pure motorsport. Now, the importance of showing you that and what you saw there was actually uh, a sport called Formula One Air Racing. So it's our sister race uh, called Air Race One. So we already do these races. These races are happening all over the world, um, but it's with a combustion engine. It's a conventional race. Uh, what we're doing is taking that same format of racing and of course converting it to electric propulsion. So everything you just saw there is exactly what we're going to be doing uh, in the electric racing. And as you can see here, it's an oval circuit with eight planes racing against each other at the same time. Now, I've mentioned a few times it's motorsport. That's really important. Uh, as you know, motorsport throughout history has always been used as a platform of innovation for bringing new products to market. And that's exactly what we're doing here. And air racing has always been part of that fabric of the motorsport industry, uh, actually for over 100 years. Um, and we're entering a new heyday of, of, of air racing and its contribution to tra transportation is gonna be really, really powerful. Um, and I have to say, it's really, it's that competition, which is what really drives innovation. Now, our objectives aren't only technological, uh, and it's not only fun uh, motorsport. Uh, you know, we're also geared, at, geared up to show, showcase, you know, cities, uh, sustainability objectives and initiatives, uh, STEM programs. Uh, we really want to help airports develop the infrastructure and educate users who are going to be the future air travelers in electric, uh, electric aircraft. So, um, you know, we're the only organization in the world that actually has all these elements, all these components in-house ready to organize this event because we've been organizing races and uh, the leading air race organization uh, for many, many years. Um, the only difference is, of course, the technology. So we're out there looking for new technology partners. 
and we're finding them. We have Airbus on board as an original uh, founding partner. Uh, ANSYS has been a huge help to us as the official simulation software partner, helping the teams get ready. And we have a number of other different brands and different capacities as stakeholders. Some are with the teams, others with the series, others are suppliers, and everyone's really piling into this series. So that, that's a really exciting moment. And, and the point is it's an open platform, it's a test platform, and we're testing just about every type of technology there is uh, to do with the aircraft and the engineering. Um, so these are just a few examples of some of the areas of study that we're using and we're trying to push forward in, in, these, in these different areas. Uh, obviously, you can see energy storage. So we're looking at batteries and how to distribute the batteries, how to pack the batteries, how to make them most efficient and effective, um, and how to test the different cells and the battery management systems and so on and so forth. Uh, and all of these areas have really, really deep, uh, extensive areas of uh, detail, which are all have a relevance uh, in, inside RAC. Now, to do that, we have actually three race classes. So there's actually three different types of aircraft that are racing. Uh, we have the open class, which as it sounds, it's wide open to any manufacturer, any team that can pr produce any type of concept and configuration of its powertrain possible. Um, that's in the open class. Then we have a performance class, which is a very specific standard two-spec uh, powertrain that we're building in-house and we're working with industry leaders. You'll hear some announcements about that very, very soon uh, to build a standard uh, powertrain. Uh, and we're gonna be issuing those out to teams. And then the vertical class, a very exciting eVTOL class. Um, what I'm gonna be talking about today is a little bit more specific to the open class. Now, here are our open class teams. Uh, we've already got 17 registered, so they're at various levels of building and getting started to actually develop their, their, their planes. Some of them are very advanced. Uh, and they're actually gonna be uh, test flying and training and qualifying all the, the aircraft later this year. So it's a very, very fast and aggressive timeline. But very exciting teams come from all over the world, all different types of backgrounds. So let's take you into the technology a little bit more. Okay, so cool stuff. Now we're getting into the fun stuff, of course. Um, look, this slide is, is really busy, really crazy. You don't really have to read this slide. It's just meant to indicate that there's a set of rules. It's a formula. So this is a formula race. We have a formula set of rules, a list of criteria that the teams have to meet to be able to uh, build their aircraft and run the race. So it describes how the planes are built and how the format of the race is. And there's quite a lot of details to this um, and it's very exciting, but they can, the output is all different unique uh, permutations of, of a race aircraft. So uh, I'm gonna tell you a little bit about some of our kind of teams that are kind of leading the way. Uh, this uh, PRNS, the first one here is a great team from Switzerland. And they're exciting because they're, it's a completely ground up, totally new construction aircraft. Uh, working with uh, you know different materials um, to you know to, to build the aircraft, um, you can see obviously the distinguishing feature there is the the V tail. So that actually takes one of the surface areas away, of course, decreasing drag. Um, these guys are distributing the batteries across the wings, um, and you know what's actually really great about this team is that they're actually building this race plane for Air Race E, but this actual plane will be produced later for the consumer market. So they're, they're ab absolutely able to sort of test every aspect of the plane here in, in a racing environment and then be able to, uh, to actually produce it later. Uh, our team from the Netherlands, uh, this is actually a university-based team. Um, these guys are also working with a very uh, interesting, totally new concept uh, of, air, of airplane in terms of it being a ground-up design. 
Uh, you can see they've got a, a clever feature in theirs, which you can see is a contra-rotating propeller. So it's two coaxial-based motors that uh, are spinning the two propellers in opposite directions, thereby balancing the torque of the motors, and of course also adding a redundancy to it. Um, but what's really interesting and in innovation here for these guys is that they're they normally in a plane like this you'd have one wing, so it'd be a single wing going across the airplane. These guys have three wings. Effectively, there's one under the under the belly, which is fixed to the fuselage, and two pieces that come two end pieces that come off. Now that is actually geared up geared towards making the shipping and the logistics much easier because we're going to be racing all around the world. Now what that means is, of course, they're very limited on space and the structural integrity of the aircraft is very important. So uh, lots of innovations going on here and, and lots of engineering challenges as well. Um, so Team Tor is uh, from uh, Norway. Uh, these guys are a great team. What they're doing here, they're approaching it a little bit different. Their method is actually to retrofit an existing race plane. So they're taking uh, an existing Formula One race plane, they're taking out the combustion engine, and they're putting on the electric powertrain. So uh, what that allows them to do is have, it's a more simple system, which allows them to focus on lots of innovations in the subsystems, such as the cooling and, and the aerodynamics and, uh, and the drag and, and, and all the other little pieces that, that support the powertrain. So these guys are really working in that sense. And what they're going to do is also be transferring their findings and the technology that they're developing in these subsystems in Air Race E, they're going to be transferring that to an actual aircraft, a seaplane, electric seaplane that they're producing to be uh, to be manufactured. So another great validation and example of how air racing is used to bring products to market. Team Scramasax uh, is uh, one of our French teams. Uh, these guys are also approaching it from a retrofitting point of view. They're they're uh, taking a Cassett 3M, which is kind of the classic race plane, and these guys are kind of keeping it simple. What they're doing is they're taking the classic race plane, they're taking all off-the-shelf components and putting them together in an optimized way. They're focusing on things like the wing structure, the wing shape. So you can see here in the picture that it's a it's a square wing, what we call in racing a slab wing. And these guys are going to be taking that, making it more aerodynamic, and reshaping the cowling to fit an electric motor, and so on. So they're going to be focusing on, on that uh, aspects of efficiency. Our team Mobius is from Texas. Um, and these guys have a really innovative idea about the motor. So they're, they're actually approaching this from inside out. And their focus really is on the motor here. And they're also going to be producing this motor down the road. So they're using ARAC as a testbed for a completely new innovation. What they claim uh, is the first ever cellulose fiber 3D printed motor. Now what that allows them to do is take about 85% of the steel out of the motor, obviously increasing its weight and, and bringing some other benefits to it, um, and also some engineering challenges <laughs> that they have to also test to make sure that it's a, it's a, a solid, solid product. So innovations inside and out happening all across the series. Um, last team I'm going to mention here today is another French team. Um, these guys are also approaching it from a retrofit, but what makes them kind of exciting is that these guys come from air racing. So it's a, it's a, it's a previous Formula One air racing team. Uh, they've been very involved in our Air Race One events. So they're able to approach it from an innovation standpoint on the team operations side. They'll be able to have the experience of one foot in the conventional racing world and the other foot in the electric, and they can compare the two and take the best of both worlds and really you know, transfer and migrate that, that knowledge uh, and expertise uh, from an operational point of view to see how, how to get the most out of, out of these planes in a real racing environment. Um, I'm going to play another quick video uh, just to give you an idea of uh, this is one of the one of our team's planes uh, that was uh, kind of unveiled last year at the Dubai Air Show and uh, just give you a quick idea of this. This is a really, really exciting moment for us. We're here at the Dubai Air Show to showcase the first ever electric race plane. 
So racing around an oval circuit around pylons, all eight planes together, passing, weaving, winding. So it's pure motorsport and real racing. We help building up a whole ecosystem around electrification. It can be picked up by our urban air mobility or even scaled by our bigger Airbus airplanes. Okay, well, uh, hopefully you found uh, the video and, and, and everything we've talked about so far today uh, a bit interesting. It's, um, you know, for us, it's a pleasure to share this. It's a really, really exciting project. There's so many, so many people involved, hundreds of people involved with this. Uh, AREC is really at the cutting edge of the technology. We're taking electrification forward. We're an open platform. So everyone here in the audience today uh, is welcome to participate. There's a place for everyone and every individual and every organization and every company. So we encourage people to get in touch and come out. Um, there's a lot to learn, a lot to be shared, and uh, we're going to uh, work on uh, shaping the future together. So thanks again for your time, um, and uh, we'll speak again soon.